CNBC TV 18 Weekender. It's not just the bridal clothes or the themes that you have been working with. I mean, you've done weddings, you've done theater costumes, you've done some play costumes, etc. Yes. How, how do you reach out to all of those? So I've done theater, I've designed jewelry, I had a jewelry mm. contract for two mm. years. Uh, jewelry and clothes go hand in glove. So yeah. just putting, just extending your creativity to, to a symbol which basically when you go for a wedding you want a good complete look. So I want to come to the economics of it, you know, but you mentioned on how demonetization, GST, that whole tax structure, the way it's changing has impacted everybody. Uh, you, uh, you know, tidied it over, as you said, but has the whole industry changed the way we stand now? Uh, you know, the mindset in between was a bit shuffled because it was like, like it's come in October, which is your prime se season when people actually collect money to and spend And would you money. say it's, it's very cash d driven in that it sense? It was cash driven. Yeah. I would say was because, mm -hmm. um, see, you have to also understand the designers today cater to a 1% of the economy, mm. which is um, very um, influential. So they are never affected because they are from the luxurious uh, background. So if you leave that sector out, you know, they'll buy an outfit without even an occasion. They just want to shop. Mm -hmm. So we have those kind of clients also. Mm -hmm. But having said that, um, the whole, there was a whole chaos all around and everybody was shuffled. But like I said, it's stabilized now. And now people are using their cards, they're spending monies. But a little bit with a conscious, like... Um, Okay, it's Diwali, so I'll spend. I have a wedding, so I'll spend. So if not 10 outfits, 8 outfits. But yes, I would still say when there is a wedding, India has the big fat wedding and people do spend monies and it is very extravagant. So, you know, for the longest time, you've had these big designer labels, perhaps like yourself as well in Delhi, Mumbai, metros. But we do understand now on how so much more money and spend comes in from second tier cities like perhaps a Jaipur or a Ludhiana for that matter. How has the spend been or a pickup been from these cities? I've reached a point in myself where I know now what I want and uh, I want to just focus on my consumer and I want to just know like, okay, if my brand wants this, how do I get better and achieve it and get to understand the customer more. Um, so I would like to open like stores in different metros. That's probably in the pipeline for me that have signature stores. But selling online has made me open up to the whole globe, basically. Sure. Because um, we, we've tied up with FedEx, we've tied up with CC Avenue. So payments come. I mean, it's just an easier way of working. And I believe if they have access to you and if they trust you, like in my 20 years of my career, I haven't had a client who has not visited me back. Mm. So for me, that's my USP because it's a very competitive society and you must be good to have them come back to you. So, you know, I get the idea of signature stores where you go and you try five different dresses and you want to feel pampered and stuff. Sure. But this whole e-commerce thing, the way it has come, the rush, the surge of it, and of course it is being promoted by the government itself. How have you been a part of it? As you said, you are online, but when it comes to brick and mortar and the online, what are your ratios really? See, like like Amazon and these online for, uh, portals are basically very price conscious because they're very like economical, right? Hmm. So when we talk of our online structures, the the yes price rate, the price range is yet quite high. But then you do have people in different zones who look up and they don't have a variety. Mm. Today when designers take their stuff, they're probably like a season old stuff and you know, it's not, it's not current. So when they have access and direct avenue to get the latest stuff, um, it's, it's been a huge success and uh, it may not be economical, but, but I, have, I feel for me it's been a growth mm. because it's opened the globe for me and uh, a wider range. When you live overseas, I mean, this is for the customers who don't live within our periphery of India. Um, like I've got Australia, I've got UK, I've got like all over the globe, literally. Um, there are markets that they, they really are very, you know, like the sari and the Indian embellishments, which are so big in the West today. Um, they look upon it as like a very high end, uh, you know, like it would be their red carpet garment, mm -hmm. more than a gown and uh, um, a black suit. But would you say that the India spend really has increased over time? Because with time, we want better quality, better range, better fabric. It has. There, like I said, there is a mind shift mm. um, from years to come. I'm, I'm just seeing it grow. And today I would say India is a great, uh, a great investment opportunity. It is very luxurious. You've got all the brands coming in. There is a spending power. There is a fashion acumen. People are aware of it. Today the consumer knows what they're paying for. It's not a foolish market. Designing fashion, I understand, isn't really a sector, sector recognized by the government in that way. What are the challenges, opportunities that you see when it comes to this one? As a designer market, there should just be more opportunities because we employ staff 
and um, today if, if we get curtailed with our business it's very difficult for us to employ because I have a lot of people if I'm not going to do well how will I give them salaries and everything today is going, going by check and it's the whole shift has come yeah. so it's, it's a circle right so today if I have employment of staff and if I have to employ more staff like we've got people from different villages artisans from small small families the households that are being run because of our work today um, whether it's in the home or in the work field in both structures so I think it's it has to boost the luxury garment, not the garment, the luxury market, I would say. Mm. So it gives us more avenues to employ more staff. Okay, on that note, we will take a very short break, come back and continue this conversation with Mike Amit Puri. CNBC TV 18 Weekender.